In the final video of this section on lists in React Native, we will explore the section list component. As the name suggests, it is a performant component designed for rendering sectioned lists. For our example, we will render a list of Pokemon categorized by type. There will be a section for fire type Pokemon, a section for water type, and so on. We will begin by creating a mock dataset representing a list of Pokemon by type. Within the project folder, I will create a file grouppedData.json. In this file, I'll paste JSON data, which you can find on my GitHub repo. It consists of an array of four objects, and each object contains two key value pairs. Type, representing the Pokemon type, and data representing the list of Pokemon for that type. It is crucial to name this property data as that is what the section list component expects. If your API dataset, for example, doesn't have the data property, you would have to transform your data. The other property though can be named anything and I've chosen to call it type as it seems logical. Now that we have the data, let's explore how to display it using the section list component. Step one, comment out the flat list component from before. We still need the wrapping view component for horizontal padding. Step two, import section list component from React Native and the JSON data from grouppedData.json. Step three, Invoke the section list component with the required props. The section list component has two mandatory props. First, we have sections, which is the source of information for the section list. In our case, it is grouped Pokemon list. The second mandatory prop is render item. And this prop is a function that returns the JSX for rendering each item in the list. It receives an object containing the current item. And you can define how each item should be rendered. This is similar to what we return for the flatlist component, but without the Pokemon type. What's important to note though, is that item here refers to each element in the data array and hence the property being called data is vital. If you now take a look at the UI, we can see our list and we can scroll down to the bottom. However, this list is not yet grouped by Pokemon type. We can fix that by adding a prop called render section header. The prop is a function that returns the JSX for rendering each section header in the list. It receives an object containing the current section. You can define how each section header should be rendered. We render section.type. We're going to add style is equal to styles dot section header text. Section refers to the entire object in the JSON array. Our section header is the type of the Pokemon. So section.type with some simple styling. Let's define those styles. Now this needs a background color, white, font size 24, and font weight bold. Now, if we take a look at the UI, we can see the Pokemon sectioned by their type, grass, fire, water, and electric. Pretty neat if you ask me. The section list component accepts many of the same props as flat list, along with a few additional ones. For example, I can copy paste the item separator component code, save the file, and this produces an error. A fix is to return the view component instead of directly assigning it to item separator component. Now we have separation between the items. 
I can also duplicate this and rename the prop to section separator component. You'll now notice the separation between each section. This prop is specific to section list. Now the component accepts many more props, so please refer to the documentation for more details. With that, we conclude this section on lists in React Native. We have learned how to render a list using the map method and scroll view component, discovered flat list as a more performant and recommended alternative, explored some commonly passed props into a flat list component, and finally learned how to render grouped data using a section list component. Thank you for watching. If you are enjoying the content, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.